Hey everyone, Succulents Box here. Today I'm going to share with you some tips on how you'll be able to catch early signs of problems from your succulents by simply checking their roots. We all know that roots are absolutely vital to any plant's health. Not only do they hold plants in shape, but also having unhealthy roots can lead to sickness. So how will you be able to tell the difference between healthy and unhealthy roots? Watch until the end of this video to find out. So what exactly do healthy roots look like? You'll know if the roots of your succulents are healthy, if they have a white or tan color, veiny, moist, and at the same time taper in thickness the further they get from the root ball. Aside from that, the roots should be long enough to hold the soil in shape, especially if you plan to repot the succulent to a different pot. Now that doesn't mean if you have short roots or small roots that your plant is unhealthy. It just means that the succulent is probably still immature and not quite ready to be transplanted. So you'll have to wait for a little bit longer for it to grow before repotting. How unhealthy roots appear depends on the current problem it's facing. To be specific, once you have examined the roots and you see that it starts turning dark brown or black in color, then your plant most likely has root rot. That's the result of having poor drainage in the pot or overwatering. One way to treat root rot is the drying method. This can be done by unpotting and letting the roots dry out for a day or so before planting it back into its pot. Now if the root rot has already become serious, you need to start pruning the roots of your succulents instead of the drying method. To do this, you simply need to carefully snip off the damage of the rotten parts using a sharp, clean knife or a pair of scissors, then allowing the roots to callus over and dry out before repotting. Another way to treat root rot is to dust the roots in sulfur. Most gardeners use this method to help increase soil acidity. Plus, it works like rubbing alcohol and at the same time kills any good or bad bacteria growing on the roots. However, you need to make sure that your succulents roots are dry and the root rot isn't caused by overwatering before choosing to dust it with sulfur. Generally, aerial roots or air roots are roots that grow on the stem of your succulents rather than in the soil and will usually appear in pink or white color. While aerial roots aren't actually a major problem, it is a sign that your succulent needs to have some extra love and care. Treating aerial roots is simple. All you need to do is change the current environment that your succulent is in by giving it more water or moving it to a sunnier spot. If you see that the aerial roots don't fall off on their own after doing this, you can simply trim them off and clean them using sharp, clean scissors. Root bound happens if the succulent is starting to outgrow its container, causing the roots to become tangled and will often show symptoms quite similar to an underwatered plant in an early stage, making it difficult to spot without removing the plant from its pot. But if your plant has become severely root bound, it will start to show obvious symptoms like roots sticking out of the pot's drainage hole or from above the soil. You may also see its container being pushed out of its shape due to the pressure of the roots. There are two ways to save a root-bound succulent. One is to give your succulent more room to grow by transplanting it to at least a 10% larger pot than its current pot it's in. Just make sure to detangle the roots from the root ball as best as you can before transplanting. Your other option is to trim the roots, which can be done in the same way as pruning for root rot. Remember to at least leave two-thirds of the plant's roots intact before you decide to trim it. Now if you see that your succulent roots are already too damaged to be saved, the best option would be to behead it. Although this won't save the whole plant, it would at least save a portion of it. To do this, you simply need to cut through the stem before any rotted parts with a clean, sharp knife or scissors. Then allow the cutting to dry for at least a few days and make sure to keep it away from sunlight. Once the cutting has dried out, bury the base of the stem in a sterile pot with fresh soil. Then make sure to keep a regular watering schedule and treat your cutting like you would with the original plant. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit like and subscribe and we'll see you again in our next video. For more you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.